we should have somewhere uh, above 700, 800 kilowatts, you know, on the various structures. So that will save us significant dollars from an electricity perspective uh, because that is a significant bill uh, for us at the Oval. So that, but putting that system on will certainly reap immediate savings uh, once you're connected to the grid. What we've done is we've, we've taken a holistic approach. Anything that is corroded, the purlines, bolts, et cetera. You know, so we had, a, we had a structural evaluation of the roofs and identified you know, various areas. You would imagine the, the roof is over 15 years old. You would imagine uh, some, some issues that, that needed to be addressed. Even the, the underlying structure required some changing out or uh, refurbishing depending on, on the area. So, yeah, so certainly ma- meaningful investment, whether you remember or not. Though the light, there weren't any lights for the finals that, um, that were played in 2007. And, 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 you know, so, therefore, there were no light towers. So, now there's a light tower right there in the kind of southeast of the ground, the actual big screen. You know, there was no permanent structure. Uh, and then there's also some other infrastructure changes that have happened over the years. So, you know, what happened in 2007 cannot be exactly replicated, but we've reached out to the provider of those fans. We're exploring what it would cost as well as what the capacity would be uh, should we have you know, temporary stands, and, and, and whether it's a, a tiered stand, whether it's a stand now that is maybe hospitality or a mixture of both. You know, those things are, are currently being explored, but you know, I think once allocations have been made, for the various venues, then I think you'd be in a better position to truly assess the cost benefit of these temporary structures.